In 2018, Hollywood brought us superheroes, rock stars, troubled families, and vice presidents. But which of the year's movies can be called the best? Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon is here with his take. Sandy. Lauren, apologize for my voice. It's time to count down my list of the top 10 movies of this year. And we start with a film that looks at a young addict and a mother who loves him. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Hi, Mom. Ben is back, home for the holidays and struggling to recover from the drug addiction that threatens to tear his family apart. In ninth position comes the first man to walk on the moon in a film that deserved far better at the box office. And in eighth, another film inspired by real people. I want you to be my VP. I want you. You're my vice. This dark and vicious satire about the most powerful vice president in American history had me laughing to keep from crying, thanks in large part to a total commitment by Christian Bale, almost unrecognizable as former VP Dick Cheney. I looked to number seven on my list to restore my faith in humanity. Because it takes courage to change people's hearts. A pianist and his driver, played by Viggo Mortensen and Mahershala Ali, need a green book to negotiate the Deep South half a century ago. And back here in the present, life sure is challenging in eighth grade. I'm really, like, nervous all the time. Another memoir of adolescence lands in fifth place. Life growing up in the Roma section of Mexico City was made better by a nanny played by Yelitsa Aparicio, a performance all the more remarkable remarkable because she had never acted before. In fourth place is A Quiet Place, a horror movie for people like me who are not fans of the genre. Ranked third on my list is a film many fans call their favorite of 2018, A Star is Born. Watch as I dive in. A Private War is close to a perfect film. I just wish I could convince more of you to go see this true story of war correspondent Marie Colvin, but Black Panther was a picture everyone wanted to see. For the epic scope of the movie and the way it resonated through our culture and around the world, Black Panther was the best film of 2018. We'll never forget seeing the way it became a touchstone for tens of millions of moviegoers. And thanks to those of you who took the time to explain to me the significance of Black Panther. It's from Disney, owned by the same parent company as ABC7.